All right. Good morning, everyone. This is Chad again with our, our second uh, morning discipline. Um, this is where I go through my, my morning prayers and scripture reading and try to... Um, <laughs> sorry, here, my, my daughter in the other room. Um, trying to keep more discipline myself and I hope that this will be useful for, for others as well. Is, is take two after getting up uh, daughter they uh, <laughs> you wake up early and the kids wake up earlier um, but anyway let's uh, let's go ahead and get started with uh, the morning prayers and then we'll we'll do the um, reading about the Saints and then the scripture reading Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, the sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, to the prayers of thy most pure mother and all the saints, have mercy on us. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, you are everywhere and fillest all things. Treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Having arisen from sleep, we fall down before thee, O blessed one, and sing to thee, O mighty one, the angelic hymn, Holy, 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 art thou, O God, to the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Having raised me from my bed, and from sleep, O Lord, enlighten my heart, and my mind, and my heart, and open my lips, that I may praise thee, O holy Trinity. Holy, 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 art thou, O God, to the Theotokos, have mercy on us now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The judge will come suddenly, and the act, acts of every man will be revealed. But in the middle of the night we hear, we cry with fear, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, to the, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Having risen from sleep, I thank thee, the Holy Trinity, in the abundance of thy kindness and long patience. Thou hast not been angry with me for my laziness and sinfulness, nor hast thou destroyed me in my lawlessness. Instead, in thy usual love for mankind, thou hast raised me as I lay in despair, that I may rise early and glorify thy reign. Enlighten now the eyes of my mind, and open my lips, that I might learn of thy words. Understand thy commandments, accomplish thy will, hymn thee in heartfelt confession, and praise thine all holy name, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and God. <clears throat> So, the saints that are honored today, uh, the main ones are the Holy Martyrs, Onesiphorus, and Porfi Porphyrius. So, Onesiphorus and Porphyrius are of Ephesus, and they suffered during the persecution against the Christians by the Emperor uh, Diocletian. 
and Diocletian ruled from 284 AD to 305 AD. So, <clears throat> the, um, um, the martyrs were, were beaten and, and burned um, in this persecution. They, um, they tied the saints to wild horses and then dragged them over um, the stones of, of the field. And then um, the martyrs, Onesiphorus and Porphyrius, died. And so they were beaten, burned, and then tied to wild horses and, and sent to, to be dragged to death. But the uh, believers gathered their remains of the saints and reverently buried them. And uh, I should do more research on, on these. Um, but this is a reminder that we need to honor those that that suffer, and we need to be prepared prepared to suffer. And uh, it's it's heavy. The I mean, I, I won't I won't preach a sermon. I'm certainly no <laughs> uh, no priest and not a preacher, but. <clears throat> Uh, reading the stories of the saints is always a it's always a heavy experience because it's you know I being egotistical I put myself in, in their shoes and think am I prepared to be <laughs> beaten and burned and, and dragged behind wild horses and uh, unfortunately I think right now the answer is no uh, and so that that weighs heavily on me So the Traparian, and as I said before, I, I can't sing. I'm learning to sing, but um, I will spare you. Um, so I'll just read uh, the Traparian and the Kentakian. <clears throat> so your holy martyrs, Onesiphorus and Porphyrius, O Lord, who their sufferings have received incorruptible crowns from you, our God. For having your strength, they laid low their adversaries, and shattered the powerless boldness of demons, through their intercessions, save our souls. A pair of glorious martyrs, Onesiphorus and Porphyrius, endured their sufferings with strength, dashing down to earth the arrogance of the enemy, and shining with the grace of, their uncre of the uncreated trinity, together with the angels, they unceasingly pray for us all. Okay, so continue reading the scripture from, from yesterday, uh, 1 Thessalonians um, 5, 9 through 13, and then 24 through 28. If you see my finger, it's uh, scrolling up my, my screen. So, all right, so verse 9. For God did not appoint us to wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Therefore, comfort each other and edify one another, just as you also are doing. And we urge you, brethren, to recognize those who labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake. Be at peace among yourselves. Jumping to verse 24. He who calls you is faithful, who also will do it. Brethren, pray for us. Greet all brethren with a holy kiss. I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read to all the holy brethren. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. All right. Then moving to the gospel reading, Luke thirteen thirty one uh, through thirty five, which is yesterday we read from chapter ten, so it's three chapters ahead of that. On that very day, some Pharisees came, saying to him, "Get out and depart from here, for Herod wants to kill you." And he said to them, "Go tell that fox." Behold, I cast out demons and perform cures today and tomorrow. In the third day, I shall be perfected. Nevertheless, I must journey today, tomorrow, and the day following. For it cannot be that the prophet should perish outside of Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the one that, who kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to her. How often I wanted to gather you, uh, what, how often I wanted to gather your children together, as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you are not willing. See, your house is left to you desolate, and assuredly, I say to you, you shall not see me until the time comes when you say, 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All right, well, thank you for being with me um, in these, these prayers and readings this morning, and uh, I will see you tomorrow.